Soka Universe. Yesterday was not my day. Absolutely not. And that's also a reason why I'm wearing hockey jersey today. Because that was the bright spot. And I only saw in the morning that my Carolina Hurricanes won, won game 7 in overtime in Washington. Double overtime. Woo! This is uh, something that made me very happy. But yesterday, uh, soccer, yeah. I was actually thinking of wearing an uh, Atleti, uh, my Atleti shirt today. But then I didn't quite feel it because they were playing Valencia, which they won 3 2, three times a lead. Actually, I have to say the first two Atleti goals and also the first uh, Valencia goal are really worth watching. I even want to say that the. Um, um, the winner for Atleti was a really nice shot. So uh, all of these would be worth your time if you have had a chance. Um, Person would have loved if Valencia plays in their third kit, uh, which is similar to the my favorite Valencia shirt, you know, the yellow, red with blue. That, will, but you know, I I can see why this doesn't work against Atleti. <laughs> But yeah, or I, I was actually that they play in the navy, but I guess the white works as well. Um, yeah, that was actually a big result in the sense that a Barcelona is not champion yet. Okay, okay that's not that big of a result. Um, but uh, for Valencia, this actually is a big setback in the Champions League uh, race. Because um, Getafe, who play Real Madrid to, uh, tonight, can they distance themselves from Valencia? Uh, probably decisively so, uh, because there will be five points with uh, very little games to go. And also, Sevilla plays Rayo uh, tonight, and they could overtake Valencia too again. So um, I was actually more hoping for a Valencia win, to be honest, but. Uh, I think it probably will be between Getafe, which is also a cool story. I mean, Champions League in Getafe. <laughs> three, more or less three Madrid teams in the Champions League next year. That's gonna be interesting for sure. Uh, other results in Spain before we go to the not so uh, great things. Um, we had Espanyol uh, Celta 1-1. And Celta did not play in the Sky Blues. Maybe if they would have played in Sky Blue, which I know they cannot do with Espanyol, they might have won it given how Sky Blue teams fared yesterday. As the headline said, it was a day for the Sky Blue teams. Unfortunately, in my hockey game, there was red against white. Otherwise, it would not have worked. Uh, but yeah, uh, Espanyol took the lead. But Celta, I actually love the purple kids of Celta. I gotta say, those look really cool, uh, and my girls love them too. Celta got the equalizer and probably could have gotten even more. Um, so that was a 1-1. Athletic Bilbao 1-1-0, one, one, I think at Leganes, I guess Leganes. And the, uh, yeah, Levante uh, beat up Betis 4-0 and stormed out of the relegation zone with it. I mean, they were... Um, were there in the spot, uh, at least they were right at the cutoff, and now uh, having won, they are way up suddenly. I mean, three points in that relegation battle uh, means a whole lot. Um, Girona now, I mean, they lost against Valladolid, Valladolid uh, leaves out the relegation zone, it's Girona in there, and given how Girona is playing, I don't see anything but Girona. Uh, being relegated and basically the relegation battle is decided that way. I feel a little bit sad for Girona because they had a decent season up until recently. Uh, yes, they were. Uh, they had this crazy idea to play their home game against Barca in Miami, but yeah, I'd rather have Catalan teams than Madrid teams. That tells you that, that I'm more Barcelona than Real Madrid, but you know, uh, don't too much attention to that. Uh, I actually don't mind Getafe and all those uh, really at all. I, I, I think it would be a great story if Getafe makes it into the Champions League. That's uh, <laughs> something completely out of the blue and unexpected. It has to be said. So yeah. 
think that that was Spain. Uh, that's before we go Italy and uh, um, let's talk German Cup. Uh, I didn't see the highlights. I was more busy with watching highlights from uh, the leagues I'm talking about. But Bayern Munich won 3-2 at Bremen. Had a tunnel lead. Bremen came back in short uh, succession, 2-2, and then Lewandowski scored a penalty. Uh, it seems to me this is something I need to watch uh, to get a little bit more, but I actually didn't see a thing. So with Leipzig against Bayern in the German Cup final, uh, it's gonna be a barnstormer. Uh, two teams I don't really have much sympathy for all over. Maybe a little bit more for Leipzig, not because of Red Bull, but uh, because East Germany really need, need, needs it. And the stadium in Leipzig, I was there during the 2006 World Cup, is actually a great stadium that deserves Bundesliga soccer. But to be frank, I really don't care too much about either of these two teams. So I, I would have loved to see Bremen go on. Let's stay with the cup and the game that, that, that I watched, Lazio, Milan, Milan, Lazio. Why do I keep flipping? I mean, I think America really messed me up uh, there because they flip home field advantage. And yeah, uh, maybe it's the alphabet. I don't know. Uh, Milan played at home the return leg of the uh, Coppa Italia uh, against Lazio uh, with a decide, decidedly B string squad. Uh, you know, you had uh, all, all already Pepe Reina in goal, um, which I think is okay. I mean, he he is not. A, he is actually a pretty good backup goalkeeper. Gotta say that. Uh, I know earlier this season I was very. Uh, he seemed shaky to me, but now that he got a, a two or three games under his belt, actually the, he exudes some confidence. That is not uh, a bad thing to have, but you know, they had Caldara finally. And yeah, I think this Caldara from Juventus thing uh, was more a smoke screen than any, anything else. You know, but it was Caldara and Musaki playing in defense next to Romagnoli, uh, Suso uh, and uh, Castillejo. You also had Laxalt playing. So it was definitely not the first team squad, but you had Bakayoko and Kessi, who at the beginning actually uh, put some dominance in there, but there was not really much coming uh, in terms of chances. It was exactly the game that I always feel Milan plays too slow. Yes, and uh, teams have fig figured it out. If you put numbers uh, in defense, Milan has trouble, big trouble, uh, of getting something going. And their the whole build up is, I mean, this, I was, yes, yes, really, the game was played at a really slow, slow pace. It was even such that I could put on the Manchester Derby on my cell phone and get a good feel for it, for although I was more listening to it and I was watching Milan I mean, talk about split personality. But yeah, it was kind of boring as I almost expected it. Um, and Lazio had the better chances, and I think uh, the late, uh, in the late first half, Milan was lucky to not go down. I think Luis Alberto had a huge chance. By that time, actually, um, Milinkovic Savic, after a really misfortunate fall, had to be substituted. He was in tears, and I am fearing his season might be over, or it will take a while until he comes back. Way he was limping, uh, and also Calabria had to go out with injuries uh, on the Milan side. But Lazio played better in every regard. Uh, I think that first they held Milan at bay in the first half, and second half they came out storming. Uh, forced a save from um, Pepe Reina, had other chances. I mean, they were uh, already first half a clear corner kick that should have gone in. Uh, same thing happened with the free header that didn't, it didn't go in and then uh, after a corner kick from Milan they really thought that Milan just um, I think she just had brought a controller uh, you know really going out oh no Chalanoglu they brought on and have a corner kick and get caught on the counter which is really nicely played it was a four against three 
Yes, Roman Yoli is going ahead because he wants to get goals, but only three at the back and the way at last he was storming out was kind of impressive and it reminded me of the Ud in the game and Korea, um, you know, sees that Pepe Rain is coming out to close uh, down the angle, puts it between his legs, 1-0 and at that point I knew that, me, that Lazio is going to win, it's, I didn't see Milan scoring two, two goals, they got an offside goal from Cotrone where there was maybe a little chance but there was really nothing coming, I actually had always the feeling that Lazio is going to score a second goal uh, much sooner. And yeah, dejected, but I, on the other side, I could understand. I would want Milan to win the Coppa Italia uh, again because that's the that, uh, tournament that they can win and they usually do not win. I mean, we have, uh, they've been twice in the finals now, always losing to Juventus. Uh, but I think the last time they won it was in 2003, something like that. Uh, absolutely miserable record there um, it's almost like brazil in the copa america brazil has all those world cup titles but in the copa america they are uh, distant third between behind uruguay and argentina which also says it's a similar story there anyway milan ever since paqueta is out milan is not themselves anymore although i and do like the setup. There's just something missing. Especially uh, Biontech is not in play. Uh, there's too much playing around, so yeah, it's kind of a little bit depressing. But I think they showed that they're not taking this semi final too seriously. It's all about the Champions League for Milan, and they have a huge game at Torino this weekend. Um, where I have to say they have to win this one. Uh, to me, this seems, seems to be absolute must win. Uh, I think Atalanta is playing Udine or something like that. I mean, uh, you're gonna lose your precious fourth spot if you don't get a win at Torino. And Torino is looking hot at the moment. Okay. Done with Italy. Tonight the other semi-final uh, was a 3-3 in the first leg between Atalanta and Fiorentina and now let's see what Fiorentina will play at, in Bergamo at Atalanta. Let's talk Premier League. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to start with Wolves or Arsenal. Now finally the league, league table looks even, even again after, after today's games. Wolves totally destroyed Arsenal. Arsenal actually playing, I like the Arsenal in their navy jersey. That, that's a nice jersey, I have to say. But that's the only thing to like about our Arsenal. I mean, Wolves destroyed them in the first half. 3-0. It was at halftime and uh, I think the first, first was a beautiful free kick. Um, there is no way I can understand why Arsenal is not completely lose, losing it. I mean, the Crystal Palace I mean, it's okay maybe to lose at Wolves, but not like that. And uh, really amateur defending. They pulled one back uh, late to make it 3-1, but too little too late. Uh, Arsenal now is in fifth spot and it really looks like that, despite all the crazy drama that we had just two months ago, Chelsea actually might win uh, the fourth spot. And they didn't have a great result. Uh, and Spurs looks now really safe. Uh, I think they have four point uh, distance between themselves and Arsenal. So yeah, it's crazy. Those twists and turns within a season are absolutely nuts. I think I gotta do something uh, at the end. Of, if, uh, I'm, I'm surely gonna make a season review. I need to do something uh, about that to look at the different form curves and so on because it's absolutely crazy what's happening uh, in England. Yeah, it was not that crazy what's ha happening in the Manchester Derby. Uh, actually, what was remarkable, that the, it was a tale of two halves. In the first half, United was well in the game. Uh, even had chances. Um, yes, City had a little bit more of the game, but uh, all over it was very even and United put a lot of effort. They left it in the break. That's the one thing I have to say. 
uh, I, I didn't watch, I, I saw only the highlights, but as soon as um, a Brazilian, why don't I? Hi. Anyway, as soon as the one nil came, which uh, seemed to be savable to me by the hair, who had a great save in the first half. Um, but I'm really trying cost or something. Whatever. Uh, shot in a short corner. I think he has to go a little bit closer to the post. I mean, this was not unsavable. And then United completely collapsed. I mean, they already came out flat, and City was clearly threatening to get something, and they got it uh, quick. And then. Um, they didn't let go of it. Uh, there was a half chance for Lingard, who was probably uh, the ball came in and uh, was 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 a comp comp company who who tried to clear it off the line with a overhead kick. Um, didn't connect, and I think that probably got Ling Lingard or who would have had if, if with a little bit more. Um, towards the goal probably could have had a good chance of a free goal uh, to hit it shortly thereafter uh, counter-attack where Raheem Sterling just runs through the midfield leaves everyone behind and gets a four on three that way I mean this was it just runs through the midfield and leaves behind basically, basically the entire mid midfield makes it uh, passes it to Sané low shot again the hair doesn't look good on that one uh, Again, speculating more a shot to the far corner and the shot goes to the near corner and goes in to nil, done and dusted. And one has to see is it done and dusted now in the Premier League. City wins out, they are winning the Premier League. Um, I have been thinking about it. Uh, would it be deserved as since they have four losses to Liverpool's one? If you look head to head, uh, they win the head to head. I mean, they sh probably should have won at Anfield, which was a boring game. Uh, but you know, the uh, miss penalty by, by Mares could have given them the win, and uh, probably uh, we will talk a whole different story if City wins that one. And then uh, early in the year, when they won 2 1, I mean, which was still. If not the best game, it's the second best game of the season I've seen so far. Um, Liverpool probably should have gotten a draw there, uh, but you know they won that game fair and square. So if I look at the head-to-head, -head, probably it is even City's, uh, and would be fair. It would not be unfair if City wins. It's of course everyone saying because Liverpool has not won the championship in such a long time. That's why everyone, including me. That's kind of neutral, and maybe not a, not from Manchester. Wants uh, Liverpool to win this title, but yeah, if I look at it, uh, kind of neutral point of view, I think that uh, despite a good goal goal season, if I just take head to head, City has won the head to head, and that's why they win that one. And so another Sky Blue team wins, which actually uh, begs a question for me. Not only I only I think I only have one Sky Blue, really Sky Blue jersey, which, which is the Uruguay jersey. Uh, yes, our Argentina is also Sky Blue. Um, but then, what is my favorite Sky Blue team? And I was kind of yeah, it's probably Napoli. I was thinking Celta, but Napoli I definitely like better. Uh, and the last thing, Austrian Bundesliga, which really topped off the horrible evening from my part, part of view. Again, uh, every game that I watched went the way it should have gone. Uh, it is hard as a fan, I'm sorry, I have to watch the lights. It is hard for me as a fan to swallow this, but um, if I really look at the fair and square, Lazio fully deserved to win. City fully deserved to win, and as, as I said, I think a good argument can be made that they even should win uh, the Premier League. So, looking at that way, and this is neutral Roland, which I'm trying to become more and more. Uh, 
everything went the way it was supposed to go and sometimes you just have to live and die by that. Uh, and I'm down on the record, despite being a huge Milan fan, Milan I don't think deserves the Champions League spot. I am really going on the record of saying that I will be happy if they do it, I don't think this would be well deserved. Just looking at how things are going and how the team is playing, I even feel bad about the pro Vigatuso has to go to. He was a great man manager, but I think uh, he cannot give the team much more and you need to probably look at a different option and manager, which hurts me because I really like Gattu, so I, I think there is, he, I like his personality, I like him as a player a lot, but yeah. But as I said, to cap it really off, last one, uh, lost 2-1 uh, at home to Sturm Graz, who are in absolute abject form, and Lask is, going, is getting there, and again, Almost nothing happened because the team in third place behind Lask, six points behind, also lost to Salzburg. And so it just gets a little bit tighter. But that is that. I mean, it's uh, maybe the Austrian league is the most forgiving one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no much. Else. So on the soccer, on the soccer pitch. Yesterday sucked for me, but I think uh, everything went the way it uh, should go. Um, I think Spain had really good games. I don't know about the German Cup uh, result. And I'm happy that at least in hockey, NHL, which is absolutely nuts. If you uh, have not seen anything in NHL, the, it, it, these are the craziest playoffs ever. I mean, all the favorites are already out in the first rounds, just to say it like that. Anyway, it was me rambling a lot, uh, kind of somber, but yeah, it was interesting games yesterday. Again, results did not fall my way, but then you cannot have it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these or other videos, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.